Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we've got some great topics on, on for today and I hope you guys are having a good day. Even if you're in a deep dark hole, really, really hope so. Comment down below, tell us how you're doing, tell us what's going on in your life. We would love to hear from you. My name is Ilza and... My name is Vikas and the name of the channel is Snug. Snug, we got a name, yay! yay. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we aim to help you find that snug feeling, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that warm, cozy, fuzzy feeling. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah, so the, the main focus for today would be uh, how to be positive. It's like if, if you're like miserable and somebody just tells you, well, just be more positive. How do you actually do that? So, yeah. so yeah. Well, look. If you if you're in, if you're feeling bad and you're depressed and it's difficult to smile, and people love to tell you, oh, just be more positive. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a slap in the face because how how do you do that? If you're feeling down in the dumps and it feels like the whole world is coming against you, it's very difficult to put on a smile and be a kind, caring, positive person. So, yeah, I would like to tell you what I've done over the years, what I've learned. If somebody had told me this a couple of years back, it would have been so much better, so much quicker. <laughs> so, yeah, well, what I've learned is being positive and being a happy person and a nice person comes from, it does come from within, it comes from your own head, it comes from you. And if other people aren't feeling that, then they're going to express that. They comment on that and they want you to be a bit happier. It comes from a good place. It's not productive to just tell somebody to be more positive. Anyway, so I also went through quite a struggle with two friends of mine who was trying to explain to me what it is, how to do it. And it took so long for them to get the right angle for me to understand that it is coming from me. But I can also do it myself. I can have self-talk where you tell yourself that I'm a good person, I'm a kind person. That all helps a bit. But unless you understand where positivity comes from and where radiating kindness comes from, it's kind of counter counterproductive because you keep going back to that. You keep going back to that. Anyway, so what I've learned is you start your morning off with... I am so grateful for. I'm so grateful for my husband. I'm so grateful for my son. I'm so grateful for my animals. And you immediately start smiling. You, the dark cloud starts lifting a little bit. When you're grateful for what you do have and you focus on what you do have and what you can do, your life becomes a little bit lighter, it becomes a little bit more positive. You feel so much better. I feel so much better from doing that. You might get positive um, feedback from that as well. I don't know. Try it. Try it. See what happens. But it basically comes from a place of being grateful for what you have, where you are, what you can do, and pushing those negative things aside. Um, let's take an example for you can't make your pay bills this, this end of the month. Can you do anything about that? Sure, you could probably work a little bit harder. You can try a little bit harder, but that's all you can do. You can't make it rain money. You can't make your debtors go away. Unless, of course, you pay them. <laughs> but yeah, you, you can't do anything really except for breathe and go to a place of gratitude. In a place of gratitude, you shine better. People want to be around you. People want to buy from you if, it, if you're in sales. Mm -hmm. Your sales will be better. But it turns everything around and you'll find yourself on a better path than just dreading, oh my gosh, I've got to pay, I've got to pay the rent, I've got to pay this, I've got to pay that. You just get more of that. The more you do dread, the more of it you get. So a place of gratitude. That is where I found my positivity and being positive. So Vikas, what do you think of that? Yeah, no, I think it makes sense because uh, yeah, I've always been told by, especially my mom, you know, but mostly a few other people as well, uh, the, the energy that you uh, put out there will come back to you. And unfortunately, because if you're an adopt, it's hard to put out positive energy, but it is also true if you're continually a negative presence in people's lives, then eventually you will wake up one day and find that nobody wants to have anything to do with you because it's just like, oh man, 
It's such a drag hanging out with him or is always in. So yeah, and uh, also I find. Sorry, I'm gonna jump around from <laughs> stuff what you said. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I find whenever I was there, so it's just like, oh, just be more positive. It was really, really hard not to just answer sarcastically because I'm a very sarcastic person when I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's like, why don't you just tell a guy in a wheelchair to be more upstanding, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Have a, take a walk to get your mind off the fact that your legs don't work. <laughs> exactly, it's the same thing. Yeah, so, and the thing is as well, is like that, that uh, it didn't always work for me or it, it, it took a long many years for that for me to um, that, that actually to be grateful for what I have it's like in the beginning is like I have all these things that I should be grateful for and I am grateful for them but it's like it's you know that you're supposed to be grateful for it but it came from here not from here because yeah I don't know but yeah, no, it is. It's a very solid place to start. I would say to just like in the morning be as like, well, at least I woke up in a bed and not in a ditch, <laughs> and start from there. Uh, uh, be grateful for your family if you have one. If you don't, be grateful that you're sleeping inside and not inside a prison cell. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, you find what what works for you. Um, I say my family and my husband, and you know that because that's where my my heart is. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, it can be something as simple as a talent to do something. It can be I'm, I'm grateful to have a job. It can be I'm grateful for the sun is shining. You could come up with something that surely there's something in everybody's life that you can be grateful for and just focus on that. Even if it's one thing and you micro focus just on that one thing, yeah. it'll it'll start you'll start seeing other things. Like you mentioned the other day about the um, kingfisher that you saw. Mm. You know, would you have noticed that if you weren't in a place of I'm so grateful and you know, you start no, if you're if you're not actively it. looking for mm finding those things to be happy about or the, finding the beauty because yeah i know otherwise it would have just been like tunnel vision <laughs> and you yeah. just miss Drive out down the road get where you want to be <laughs> oh, instead of noticing no precisely yeah. i also yeah. think that the, the more you do something the more you it starts becoming a habit it starts becoming more natural and easier mm. um Again, noticing other things, you know, we notice that the strangest things, uh, Stephen will also, when we get off the bike, ask me, did you see that? And it's like, well, I actually saw that. You know, something ridiculous, how the, the sunset was going, or with, with the, shape, the clouds or something. Yeah. You automatically start noticing more things around you that are beautiful, that are food for the soul, instead of just all that <laughs> ugly stuff. No, and that, yeah, and it's, it's very hard not to get caught up in the, all the ugly stuff because we tend to overthink. That, that's Overthinking is the bane of our existence. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I know I'm a chronic overthinker. That's, uh, I, will, I will, let's uh, decide to do something, then within an hour I'm thinking about stuff that will probably not even happen eight months later, but I'm worrying about that now so what does that help <laughs> so then you have to remind yourself it's like dude just relax nothing you can do about it so just let it go <laughs> exactly and what what it means to let it go mm. is it's not just okay i let it go and i'll forget about it now it's done mm. unfortunately those things can't keep coming back at you that's going to knock on the door it's going to bash at you because that is your programming up to now mm. Your body will go back to default. Default is your what's set in, what you've been told for your whole life and what you've thought your whole life as well. And to try and, re I want to say reprogram, let's use it as a computer. Mm -hmm. You reprogram your brain to go to the positive, to go to something. Because look, if you look around us, it is so easy to see something negative and it's felt, it's, it's, it spreads like a felt fire. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves something negative. It's crazy. <laughs> no, it's true. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it serves no one. Yeah, but it's it's human nature, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, uh, was this one movie, and it's the guy asked, "Why do we yawn at creation and thrill at destruction?" And that's human nature. Because okay. think about it. If that I'm not really interested in gossip and drama and stuff, but what? Do you hear more often something good about somebody or something bad and evil and uh, 
tasty and did you know that one did or mm. those two did or yeah yes <laughs> it also it gives it gives people a sense of i know something you didn't know mm. some spicy information or you know something like that but spices up life let's let's face it if it was just sunshine and roses how boring would life be <laughs> yeah no <laughs> but it doesn't mean we have to focus on all the bad stuff yeah no that's that's true but um yeah, it's like you you have to find once again you have to find a balance is the difference between like focusing on the positives and trying to be positive and then just being blissfully ignorant about what's going on around you <laughs> like that meme of the dog that's sitting in the house that's on fire and he's like this is fine <laughs> it's, it, yeah it's fine. but yeah, so it's, again again if it's something that you can do something about hmm. fine do something about it but if it's something that you can do absolutely nothing about then those will be one of those things that you are aware of and then let's not focus on it let's find something else to to focus our, our attention on it because you you also fuel things around you your yeah. environment like i said if you if you focus on all the bad stuff let's say all the the rubbish next to the road and oh my gosh now this has happened and oh that's broken and this is now looking up like, Mm. You're going to see that. That's all you're going to see. If no. you focus on how beautiful the trees are and how beautiful this is looking and that, then that's what you're going to see. So you literally mm. create your own environment in your head through your thoughts. Yeah. No, no. You, you are in control of the way you perceive the world. Which is awesome and sucks at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Also, yes, with the, the, the pushing things aside, Push it aside and push it down, because <laughs> if you push it down, it's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. <laughs> so yeah. Swim your way through all the negative <laughs> stuff and yeah. get to out on the other end. Not push yeah. it like feelings, pushing feelings aside. Yes. We should not push feelings down. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like you can you can set it aside to deal with it at a later stage, but don't force it down and decide not to deal with it at all, because then it festers and boils and. Yeah, I've, yeah, yeah yes. some people become genuinely physically sick yes. because of the, that sort of thing. That's it, yeah. 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 Well, look, if, if, you want a, if you want a reason to be positive, what are you going to do? <laughs> Cry your way through life the whole time? <laughs> I don't think that sounds like a lot of fun. No, it might be fun for like an hour or two, but then... <laughs> then <not so> <laughs> but, but yeah, finding a way to be positive is finding something to be grateful for. Try it. Just just give mm. it a shot. Um, mm. If you guys try this and you have an experience of some kind, good, bad, doesn't matter, comment down below. Let us know. We would like to know how, how if, did it help you? Um, have you got a better idea of how to stay positive or what positivity is? Let us know. We would like to talk about it. This channel is about talking about different things, talking about different methods and ways of thinking to try and help other people out of dark holes as well, mentally. Um, but yeah, if you communicate with us, maybe we can find some crazy miracle thing or something. <laughs> it would be nice to find a cure-all for one thing. Yeah. Take this one pill, all your problems are solved. <laughs> yes, well, isn't that what we're all looking for? Yes. That one miracle thing? Yes. Uh, you don't have to put the work in. Oh yeah, no, same. It's like the first time I watched The Matrix, I would look, how awesome would that be? It's like, it's like, listen, I want to learn this skill, just upload it into my brain. Exactly. Instantaneously. Yeah. We would all be ninjas. Yeah. <laughs> I know Kung Fu. There you go. Oh, we're all be flying, flying motorbikes up the wall and through crap, oh, yeah. fire and all kinds of stuff. So yeah. But yeah, again, The Matrix tells us a couple of things as well. If you watch The Matrix a couple of times, you see something different mm -hmm. that you didn't see the first time. We actually watched it like three times before Stephen and I said, okay, now we get it. Now uh, we get what it, you know, all the background noise they're trying to make. I'm going to be a little so, smug and say I got it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the first time I walked out of that cinema, my mind was blown completely. as well. Wow. <laughs> but then again, you ha you yeah. see how easily I got the, well, once somebody explained it to me, yeah. gratefulness gives you positivity, and other people struggle to understand that. So it depends on what yeah, angle no, no. you come from and yes. just simmer on things a little bit. Actually, a good, good example. 
Oh. And something that might work for you won't work the first time, but it might work the second time and no. or the third time. Or it might not work at all and then you just try it from a slightly different approach, something else. That's it. And then suddenly, boom, that aha moment or that, mm. that, flick, that, that switch just flicks up <laughs> <laughs> and you're there. So this is why there are different services, there are different methods, there are different books. There is such a huge industry on mental health alone because there are so many different ways and people are different and we're all born different and our experiences are different. Yeah, so I think the journey is about finding what works for you, what makes you happy. Yeah, yeah and that's uh, the main focus is to be happy. <laughs> yeah, it's like I decided a few years ago, it's like my, my goals have changed. I don't want to work towards a big house or a fancy car or whatever, insert normal goal here. <laughs> <laughs> My, I just want to be happy. That's the main thing. Everything else is secondary. <laughs> but, exactly. Yeah. And it's all, it's, give, let's give ourselves mm. permission to change our minds. No. Yeah. yeah. No. It's it's, it's it's very much also that's a pride thing. It's like you don't want to admit being wrong because then you're gonna look stupid. But then also then you have to think your thoughts behind the thoughts have to tell you. Well, does it really matter if you look a little silly? And, and yeah. I forgot where I was going about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I'm at an age where I'd rather look silly than continue on something I hate, or so something mm. I'm not enjoying, or something that's not working. I'd yeah. rather just change the direction and do yes. something. Because, again, if you really want to be happy, <laughs> the secret is to not give a shit. Yeah, the, the you do you and don't care so much of what other people, okay, don't go and run around naked in the street. Yeah. Like, uh, like I said last time, that as long as it's not illegal or hurting yeah. anybody else. Exactly, exactly. You yeah. do you and you'll be happier as well. I think there are so many people running off to do copy and pasting other people's lives mm. instead of thinking of what, what you want. I'm going to be very honest when, I'm, when I say that since we started reading these books and things and Stephen mm. and I have been talking about you know where do we want to go what do we want I have no idea what I want mm. I don't know you've been told so much over and over again what you what you want you've been told what you want you don't get a chance to sit and think but well, hang on what do I want no it's um it's like that uh, it's like a midlife crisis that a lot of people go through I'm not saying you're having a midlife crisis I'm <laughs> So <laughs> it's 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 like people that have you know did everything that their parents and society told them to do, and it's like you know do well in school, do well in sports, go to varsity, get married, get a nice job, get a nice car, have a family of your own. And then one day you wake up realizing you never lived your own life, and then when I think that's why a lot of people then have like a midlife crisis, and then. Well, some of them are lucky enough to have the finances to buy a Porsche <laughs> <laughs> or a motorcycle or then decide to go skydiving or what have you. But yeah, and that's... Nah, once yeah, again, sorry, I'm losing a track of what I'm saying as I'm saying <laughs> it. Apologies, dear viewer. <laughs> I think that that's where the biggest problem is that we realize too late in life that number one, it doesn't matter what other people think. Hmm. Number two, it matters what you want, yeah. not what other people want for you. And we didn't realize these things way too late. So since we hit 40, we were hmm. like, oh yeah, cool, the, the life is great, life is <laughs> awesome. You know, just do what you want. I don't yeah. care what other people think of me. Um, to, the, to the degree of, I'm going to do what makes me happy. I'm hmm. not going to go around town, like I said, walking naked or swearing at people and degrading other people. I'm not going to be mm. stupid, obviously not. But I mean, I'm going to do what makes me happy. No. And if I don't want to go to that function, I'm not going to go. If I want to go to that function, do you want to come with? No? Cool. Here I go. Yeah. I'm going to do me. I'm going to do what makes me happy. And we need to actually teach this to our kids to start from a very young age. Do what's going to make you happy. Don't settle for less. Mm. Great, I know we, we have to might take a job we can at the moment, there are so few jobs, but it doesn't ma ma mean that you go and close yourself in a little hole now and that's your job and that's where you are. 
Yeah. Think larger, think bigger, allow kids to dream. Yeah, and also if you find yourself in that space with a dead end job that you hate, just like try to make it fun for yourself. You know, in some way. <laughs> I know I've had a few of those and it's it's really hard sometimes. But uh, somehow I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's two ways to look at life. It's like nobody gives a shit or nobody gives a shit. There we go. <laughs> so, it's so yeah. much better. Yeah, no, I it's agree. So much better. But again, that comes down to people worrying so much about what other people think. Mm. I don't care if other people don't give a shit. I give a shit, so I'm gonna do something about this. And we've got to go more inner than on the outer. Yeah. Okay, more about what you want, care more about where you are, mm -hmm. what you're doing, and care a little bit less about what other people are doing. No, let them live their own lives and yeah. find their own way. And Exactly, yeah. and try and be happy for those. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, it's so hard sometimes to be happy for other people's <laughs> success, especially if it's some celebrities that have no real talent that are somehow billionaires, like the Kardashians, oh my god. Oh my I find god. it hard to be I'm happy for them. <laughs> Boggles the mind. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, luckily, they fell into the right thing and they did the right thing at the right time and it worked for them. Yeah, good for them. Bastards. <laughs> but, uh, it's hard not to be jealous. I'd love to have one of those jobs where I'm just being paid for existing. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. But, but, yeah, again, it just depends on the, the, the focus that you put on it. The, angle you come at it, what you keep telling yourself in your, in your own head. Mm -hmm. um, I would just, I'd never watched them, I haven't got a clue who they yeah. are, I know of them, I couldn't get less. Yeah, it's like I also, I have second-hand knowledge of them, I also only know of them through other media, like yeah. when people in movies and on social media and like the then you're just like, oh, these people. I've never watched the episode. No plan on everyone, but yeah. It doesn't change my life that I don't know what they are about or what it is. So. Yeah, and it's like, it's not like I want a cookie or anything because I've never watched something of theirs. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, at all, nobody gives a shit. I'm the nobody in this instance that I don't give a shit about them. So. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. I hope that that helps. I hope it, it resonates with someone. The whole idea is to put out what we think, what, where we've been. We're not professionals. Please yeah. go to see a doctor if you feel like it. We're just sharing our, ex our ideas, our opinions, and our um, thoughts, <laughs> thoughts, experiences, and our yes. experiences. What we personally experienced, what we can talk about. Um, and then you take it from there. No. Use it, don't use it. That's up to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, so thanks for watching. Do consider liking and subscribing, and uh, yeah, the buttons are down below. Somewhere there. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Subscribe down below. <laughs> and ring the bell. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. Have an awesome day. Cheers. Bye.